Hello guys. In today's mukbang, we're gonna be eating poke. Hawaiian style poke. Ta da! Okay, so over here we have spicy mayo. And over here we have shoyu. And I believe this is both with ahi tuna. I am so ready to eat this, guys. I also bought seaweed salad to eat on the side. I think it came with this, and I ended up buying an extra. I had no idea that it came with it. All right, I'm gonna say grace. Y'all know the drill. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for another day to be alive, another day to experience your love. Bless this food. Take out any impurities, let it nourish the body, and thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready to eat this. Oh. So let me show y'all what we got going on here, okay? I am going to take a bite. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> All right, here's the show you. Yum. That one's a really subtle flavor. It was good. Look how creamy this is. Mm. Yum. Okay, I'm glad I bought it extra because there's not much in here. Mmm. So once upon a time, I did not like raw fish. And now it's one of my favorite things ever. Like pokey raw salmon sashimi or raw sushi i mean raw sushi sashimi salmon is my favorite fish though mm -hmm. cooked raw baked seared all that or raw salmon though that's where it's at i usually get salmon like I'll, I'll get salmon instead of ahi tuna, but I don't know. It was looking real good just how it was today. So, mm. I think at this place you have to pay extra for salmon. I think. I don't know, but this is hitting. There's one spicy mayo in there and one show you in there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's the move. That's the move. I think I was just afraid to try raw raw fish before. You know, I thought like I don't know, the texture was gonna be weird. Mm. I have matured. 
I was really young though. I was like, I think I was in high school. Mm hmm. And then also, once upon a time, I was eating pokey at least once a week. And I was doing that probably for like almost a whole year straight. Mm hmm. So I've tried so many pokey places. And this right here is my favorite. I didn't even tell you guys where this one's from. It's from this place in Carson, California called Pokey Etc. Oh my gosh. I've never been to Hawaii, but I imagine this is what the Pokey in Hawaii would taste like. Mm. The way it's just like marinated or covered in this sauce and then you just eat it with some rice. Mm hmm Because I've been to pokey places that are almost like Chipotle style. You know, when you go to Chipotle, they ask you what kind of meat you want, what kind of rice you want, uh, what kind of salsa you want. And you kind of go down the bar like that. Most pokey places I feel, at least out in California, are like that. I'm like, build your own poke bowl. And they're good. But this style, this is like the authentic Hawaiian style. And if y'all haven't had it, oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> I'm so tired you guys I feel like I look really tired and I sound really tired it's because I am <laughs> I'm very tired I'm like very PMS-y right now if you're a girl you probably understand and when I'm PMSing, I'm so, I'm just extra tired. Like it doesn't matter how much sleep I get, how much water I drink, mm, how much caffeine I have. It's like my body is just like in fatigue mode. Although I will admit I have not been getting the greatest rest and the greatest sleep. I've been drinking a lot of caffeine and yeah, I'm also dehydrated, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> I got this buggy. No, but I'm, I'm feeling real tired. I just got done with a workout. I'm like, you know what? Some pokey will probably revive me. Mm -mm -mm. What a treat. What a treat. I'm drinking an accelerator. It's an energy drink. When I PMS, I'm also super hungry all the time. I think sometimes I feel like a monster. <laughs> Just in like my mood, my appetite. I know you females get me. Mm. And food just tastes extra bomb. For some girls, it's when they're on their period, but for me, it's like right before. Or like the week before, up to like right before. Hmm. And when I'm like this, like, I don't fully feel like myself. 
and it can get kind of annoying sometimes because I feel like it's kind of out of my control. I've talked on this channel before and in real life, if you know me, I talk about like controlling your emotions a lot and how you are in control of your emotions. But sometimes when I'm PMSing, it's like extra, extra, extra difficult to do that. Man. And then it makes it harder to like submit those emotions and all of my thoughts to the Lord. It makes it harder for me to talk to him sometimes. And I'm like, dang, is this like a spiritual attack? But I'm like, nah, it's probably just my hormones. I don't know. <sighs> Being a woman. <laughs> but anyway, guys. I do see that I have some new subscribers, so hello, 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 and welcome. Oh my gosh. It's good. It's good. This whole thing was like 17 something dollars. Including this. So I haven't been to Hawaii, but I have gone to Utah. I know that's like, how does that correlate, right? I did go to Utah with some cousins who have been to Hawaii before. And we had some pokey in Utah. And let me just tell you, it was probably the freshest, bombest pokey I've ever had. And the cousins I went with said that it reminded them of the pokey in Hawaii, if not better. Bruh. So if you're from Utah, you gotta go check this place out. I'll probably put it up on the screen because I forgot what it's called, but oh my gosh. It, it is um, Hawaiian style pokey like this. And they're only open for a couple hours. So we slid on through when they were open and the line was out the door, basically, if I remember. Or it was really long. And oh my gosh, it was just amazing. It was better than this. But I do want to go to Hawaii this year. I want to travel this year. Hawaii is in like top priority, but it's up there for me. Because I feel like I'm the only person that hasn't been to Hawaii. I feel like everybody I know has been. And when I say I haven't, people are like, what? like offended and I'm like okay then take me no, I think I am gonna go this year I, I just want to be at the beaches clean beaches surrounded by nice people and good food it's very great things about Hawaii except the prices so yeah but that's fine I'm on vacation you know I'm so sleepy I literally feel like I'm falling asleep as I'm eating this meal. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I'm trying these new gummies though. Today is day one of me taking it. Let me show you guys. Hold on. They're these gummies right here. They're called Flow, or the brand is Flow. PMS gummy vitamins, chastberry vitamin B6, and lemon balm. Yeah, you're supposed to eat two a day, and today is my first day of trying it. And they have like a really weird, oh, <laughs> they have a really weird consistency. Um, 
But we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to be amazing. <laughs> be amazing. I'm actually trying it. Um, a company is letting me try it. So I'll let you guys know if there is some positive results. I really don't know like how that can help. I feel like your own diet and your lifestyle and what you put into your body, you know, how you treat it affects your PMS. I mean, I feel like your body can regulate itself if you take care of it, but I don't know. I could be wrong. You know why I say that though? So I used to be, sorry, this video is for the girlies. I'm talking a lot about periods and stuff. So sorry if that grosses you out. Sorry if you can't relate, but whatever. Um, but I used to always be irregular. Like my periods were always irregular. Like my periods would last like three weeks, three and a half weeks. And do you know how many weeks are in a month? Okay, you're only supposed to get them once a month, right? And so I felt like I was constantly on my period, constantly PMSing, just, it, it wasn't good. So I went on birth control um, and I didn't want to go on birth control, but my doctor kept insisting on it. And I was like, okay, one day I was like, okay. And then of course the birth control regulated my period. It did what it was supposed to do. But after being on it for so long, like I'm talking like, what, maybe like, like eight years maybe. I'm just like, I'm putting all of these extra hormones and things into my body. I don't think that's right. Like, I don't think you're supposed to do that. And I just started feeling uncomfortable about it and thinking what if that affects me having kids in the future like I just didn't want to risk anything and I was also very very unhealthy with how I was eating and sleeping and I was putting other things in my body that I was supposed to be doing anyway I decided to get off of it and it was rough it was rough transitioning however after finding a rhythm of me exercising and eating better and just overall taking care of myself better like really being mindful of what i'm putting in my body don't get me wrong i still eat my cheetos i still eat good stuff it's just in moderation you know <clears throat> i now have regular periods and I've had regular, like a regular period now for three years, two, three years. Oh my gosh. Wow. Because that's how long I've been doing this whole fitness thing. So that's cool. No, I'm on no birth control. No nothing. Just taking care of my body. But we'll see how these PMS gummies work. I mean, they were free, so I'm going to just try it out for a bit. I hope everybody is having a great start to the year. I still can't believe it's 2024. Like, that sounds so futuristic but we're in it we're in it I've been spending a lot of time with family lately and it's been really nice. It's been really nice. It's a blessing that I am not taking for granted.
I still got a lot of fish and I'm running out of rice. But that's a good thing because you know there's always rice at home being Filipino. <laughs> so that's no problem. I'm gonna need this little thing to put in work. That's how you know I'm so tired. This normally has me bouncing off of the walls, but right now I'm like, <laughs> and I went to the gym. Normally that wakes me up and you know, because of that natural dopamine, but <sighs> you girls fatigued, but I am happy. I'm happy. I'm not allowing my uh, short temper. I don't even want to call it a short temper, but I guess like, I am more, I'm less patient and just slightly snappier, but I got it under control, okay? So don't operate in those low feelings because you just end up letting the people around you also have a bad day. Don't be that person. Don't be that person, okay? Sometimes I'm just like, God, I am so annoyed right now. Like, talking to God, I'm like, I'm so annoyed right now. Like, please help me. Please give me the patience. Like, I don't even want to be like this. It's exhausting to be this way. Like, I need you. Help me. And then he comes through. So, mm. okay, that was the word for today. And that's it for this mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed and... I promise I would be consistent, so stay tuned for the next one real soon. Peace. Oh, you guys like my nails? I don't know if I love them yet, but anyway. Okay, peace. <laughs>